Hello everyone, my name is Teng Bing Wang. I'm going to talk about making rigorous linear programming practical for program analysis. This is the joint work with Li Qianchen, Tao Qingchen, Guang Shenfan, and Ji Wang. This talk contains five parts, that is introduction, motivation, approach, experiment, and summary. As the topic of this paper is about rigorous linear programming. So let me give a brief introduction about rigorous linear programming. Rigorous linear programming is a technique for computing rigorous lower and upper bounds for the optimal value of linear programming problems. So why do we want to make a study of rigorous linear programming? Because linear programming is a key technique for many analysis and verification techniques. For example, for numerical abstract domains, such as template polyhedral, constraint-only polyhedral, and so on. Besides, many linear programming solvers based on floating-point arithmetic may get unsound solutions, which is not applicable to numerical abstract domains. Linear programming solvers based on exact arithmetic are too costly. So it is quite natural to get a sound result of linear programming problem via rigorous linear programming techniques. Now let me introduce the motivation of this paper. Existing rigorous linear programming techniques may fail in some cases where decision variables have infinity bounds or constraint matrix is ill-conditioned. Let's look at one example. Given a general linear programming problem as follows, this problem wants to calculate the minimal value of the objective function. Here we show the results of four techniques, that is GRP exact, which is our baseline, RLP based on safe bound, RULUPA, and our FME based RLP. From the results, we can see that RLP based on safe bound outputs minus infinity, which is sound but too conservative. Lulupa outputs a finite bound for this problem. Our FME-based RLP outputs a bounded result, which is a rigorous lower bound of that of GRP exact. Our main idea is implementing rigorous linear programming via Fourier masking elimination based on interval arithmetic. To make the results of linear programming problems sound, we introduce interval arithmetic during the process of elimination. Besides, we introduce some optimization techniques to improve the efficiency of FME-based RLP, including chorus rule, Chunikov's rule, and variable packing. Now let me show you our approach. First of all, let me give a brief introduction about how to adapt Fourier masking elimination to solve linear programming problems. Looking at this linear programming model, it wants to calculate the maximum value of the objective function, that is C transposition X. To realize it, we can introduce a new variable, xn plus 1, whose bound is from minus infinity to plus infinity to reconstruct the objective function by generating a new linear inequality, that is xn plus 1 minus c transposition x less than or equal to 0. After that, 
we can project out x via Fourier masking elimination. Then we can get the upper bound of x n plus 1, which is the maximum value of the objective function. If we want to compute the minimal value of C transposition x, we can do it as equally to DAS. As mentioned before, we introduce interval arithmetic during the process of elimination. So linearization of interval inequality is an important point. To linearize interval inequality during the process of elimination, we introduce one linearization technique, that is often reduction. When xk is bigger than or equal to zero, ak is less than or equal to bk. We can use often reduction to linearize interval inequality three into scalar inequality four, which is a sound. Besides, we define the following symbols to make the process of elimination clear. The first symbol means floating point addition. The second means floating point multiplication. The third means floating point minus. The last means floating point division. R represents the rounding mode belonging to the set of minus infinity and plus infinity. Now let me introduce how to construct sound floating point Fourier masking elimination. Looking at the following two inequalities, that is inequality 5 and inequality 6, as xn plus 1 has no bounds, so we introduce interval coefficient for xn plus 1 to guarantee that the final result is sound and rigorous. In our implementation, we use multiplication and division to realize Fourier masking elimination for different cases. Here we mainly illustrate the process of elimination by division. Assume that we want to eliminate xi from these two inequalities. In order to eliminate xi from inequality 5 and inequality 6, we can divide inequality 5 by ai plus and divide inequality 6 by minus ai minus to unitize the coefficients of xi. Then we can derive inequality 7 and inequality 8 respectively. Then, adding inequality 7 and inequality 8 up, we can get inequality 9, which doesn't contain xi. Finally, we can linearize inequality 9 into scalar form as shown in inequality 10. After we eliminate all variables in x, we can derive a one-variable interval linear system over xn plus 1, as shown in inequality system 11. As xn plus 1 has no bounds, so we need to do classified discussion as shown in inequality system 12, which is equivalent to inequality system 11. Finally, we can get the upper bound of xn plus 1 from inequality system 12. As we know, Fourier masking elimination may introduce a large number of redundant constraints during the process of elimination. It will cost a lot if we don't remove redundant constraints in time. To solve this problem, we have implemented some optimization techniques. First, we introduce chorus rule and the first Chernikov rule to remove redundant constraints during the process of elimination. Besides, 
considering the sparsity of constraint metrics, we introduced variable packing to decompose a large constraint matrix into a small one according to the correlation of variables. We have implemented FME-based RLP and a tool called RLP Solver, wrapping several rigorous linear programming techniques, including FME-based RLP, safe-bound, and error-bound. This figure shows the main framework of RLP Solver. User can choose one of these three techniques manually or let RLP Solver automatically choose one technique according to heuristic rules. We have provided some heuristic rules to help our solver choose a proper technique to solve linear programming problems. When the number of variables and the number of constraints are less than the user-defined thresholds, that is, the problem size is small, then our resolver will choose FME-based RLP. If the problem size is large, we need further judgment. When a percent of infinite bounds of variables is less than the user-defined threshold, our resolver will choose safe bound, or it will choose error bound. Finally, if a safe bound or error bound fails, our resolver will choose FME-based RLP. Now let me introduce our experiment. The LP problems in our benchmark are randomly generated. The problem size varies from small to large. For a better comparison of these techniques, according to the threshold mentioned before, we split it our benchmark into four categories, that is SVSC, SVLC, LVSC, and LVLC. In our experiment, we focus on efficiency and precision of FME-based RLP and RLP solver. Upon the question one, we apply FME-based RLP, SafeBound, Lulupa, and GRP Exact to solve linear programming problems in our benchmark. We use GRP Exact as our baseline. This figure shows the log of execution time of this techniques. From the figure, we can see that when the number of constraints is small, as shown in figure A and figure C, the performance of FME-based RLP is almost at the same level as SafeBound and Lulupa, even better in many cases. When the number of constraints is large, as shown in figure B and figure D, FME-based RLP costs more time than SafeBound and Lulupa but its performance is mostly better than GRP exact. This figure shows the cumulative execution time of several techniques. From this figure, we can see that FME-based RLP and RLP solver take less time over the left half part than SafeBound and Lulupa. Over the right half part, the performance of FME-based RLP decreases a lot, while the execution time of SafeBound, Lulupa, and RLP solver are still in the same order of magnitude. About the question 2, we count the number of cases where each technique derives the highest precision. From this table, we can see that FME-based RLP has the best precision in most cases among these three techniques. The last column of this table shows that 
there are 272 out of 575 cases where RRP solver can develop the highest precision. In total, RRP solver can get a better trade-off between efficiency and precision. Now let me make a summary for our paper. First, we propose and implement a FME-based rigorous linear programming technique. Second, we introduce some optimization techniques, including chorus rule, Chernikov's rule, and variable packing. Third, we implement a tool called RLP Solver, wrapping different rigorous linear programming techniques together which can get a better trade-off between efficiency and precision. As for future work, we plan to parallelize floating-point Fourier masking elimination and introduce online decomposition to improve the efficiency of FME-based RLP and conduct more experiments on real-world problems. That's all. Thank you.